toolbox design lt lt oh. <laughs> oh dude what is it for racing yeah baby Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. You know what you're looking at. It's Ford Racing on PS1. I think I got this game for like my sixth birthday from my grandpa. I don't know. I ha I reviewed this. I reviewed this game. Just go back and watch the review. I'm sure I talked about it there. Ford Racing. Oh. Oh. It's Ford Racing. We're playing the game. Oh, good lord, dude. If you've never seen this game before, you are in for a treat. Oh, you are in for a treat. Oh, what's my name gonna be? Oh, what's my name gonna be? I don't even know. I didn't have a meme coming into this video. How about... Um... Mm, um... V... V, V, Vim, Vim, Vim. My name is Vim. Hell yeah! Press start button to enter car season. Oh god! So this is Ford Racing. This is the closest thing to legitimate simulation that you're gonna that you're gonna find on the PS1. Don't even think about putting in Gran Turismo 2. Or one, for that matter. This... Oh, wait, I just exited career. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Did I save that? Did I save Vim? No, I did not save Vim. Well, it looks like I get to... Yes, we're gonna do a different meme this time. How about... Um... Um... Nose. Nose... Seven. No. Nose... Nose hose. Nose hose. D. Dad. Dad. Nose hose dad. There we go. Fantastic. Perfect name. I wouldn't want any other name, honestly. Uh, this is Ford Racing. We're about to... <laughs> so this is... Ford Racing. I don't even know what... I don't even know how to describe this. You're just gonna have to take a look at the actual game when we get into the sheer nonsense that is this. Oh man, you can practice. You can do a setup. My god. So, this is Ford Racing. Welcome to the game of Ford Racing. This is Empire Games or something, I don't know. They made a racing game, even though you can clearly tell that this was a bit out of their wheelhouse. I don't know, Empire made a couple of other games that I've played, but I just can't remember offhand what they are. And on and on all likelihood, I got rid of those games because they sucked so badly. But the point that I'm trying to make is... <laughs> this is Ford Racing, the original. There's a Ford Racing 2 and a Ford Racing 3. You can about imagine how those games are. They are just as good, if not better, than Ford Racing 1. So in Ford Racing, you race as Fords, as the name would suggest. Believe it or not, Ford Racing is about racing Fords. Every car in this game is a Ford. And you race them. Hence, Ford Racing. Right now we're driving a Ford Ka, or K-A, I don't know dude, I don't even know what to think right now. I did start a series of this back in uh, 2013, like this was one of the first series that I was going to do on the channel, but I didn't. I didn't finish it because you can probably guess the reason. Um, and no, for once it wasn't laziness, it was just that this game is just too good too good for for a uh, a uh, mere youngin of 15 years back in 2013 so as you can see i lost the pole position because in this game 
your competition is also technically qualifying with you, kind of just as ghost cars. And yeah, they're on the track at the same time, basically. And they can just knock you off the pole. So D. Sumner has taken away the pole from me. Somehow I dropped all the way to fourth. I didn't think I was doing that bad, but I guess I have a little bit of ring rust, considering I haven't played this game in, like, what, two years? It's not a bad thing, by the way. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry about that, but this is the first series, so it's gonna be super easy. Also, the race is one lap long, so qualifying is actually a longer... actually takes longer to do than the actual race itself. And since you're so strong in the early portions, you know, there's really no reason in the world to qualify in this game. It's just like, you know what, if there's any similarities between this game and Gran Turismo, is that qualifying is absolutely pointless. So hey, you got that going for your Ford Racing. Ford Racing, man, this is one of the first games that I ever had. Um, I got really good at the early portions of this game until the middle part where you actually need to be kind of decent to do good. And the AI cranks it up a little bit. But I came back to the game in late 2016 to make the game review and to finally finish this stupid game off that's haunted my childhood. My god, dude. It's not... Oh my god, what happened? Oh, I see what happened. I'm playing this on PS3. Because it's way too difficult to record on PS, on PS2 for Elgato. And I was actually going to re-download it from the PlayStation Store. But apparently it's not available on the PS4 version of the PS Store. So, yeah. We're just going to not watch that replay. So, nose hose death. Grabbed not only the fastest lap, but also the race. Because there was one lap. Therefore... The fastest lap was the only lap ran by the race winner. Ain't it funny how that works? Anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, and this is a championship, so there's multiple races. We have to move on to the next one and actually continue being good. So um, we could do this race, or we could take some of the massive amount of winnings that I grabbed after that previous race, which is $275, and we could get a car upgrade. Except no upgrades are available for this car, because that's just how bad it is. Engine upgrade. Can't even afford it. Weight reduction. Doesn't even exist. Qualifying tires. <laughs> Soft tires produce better grip, but must be replaced after every race. You know, it is actually kind of realistic that the things that you use in the game can only be used once. Kind of realistic. Kind of realistic. Not really realistic, but... Well, I mean, it is realistic, but... We're just gonna skip qualifying. I do not have the patience for this shit. <laughs> just go to the race. Oh my god, just go to the race. It's the first championship. It's not that hard, okay? But yeah. Um... So this is the second track in the game. This is Willowdale. It's kind of got a... It's kind of a track. It's it's a track-ish. It's ish. Track-ish. Um, as we go through this game, you're going to see a s several different locales. It's going to be a whole bunch of exciting different racetracks every single, every single championship when you're racing against the same five people every single race, you know. It's good stuff. It's good stuff is what it is. So he's heavy on the brakes. So I'm just going to go around him on the outside, and we're in the lead. Yeah. Alright. Sick. Ford Racing. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. This is... You really have to play the game yourself to understand the sheer lunacy that is playing out before our very eyes. This game... This game can mess with the best. Anyway, that was one lap. <laughs> one lap races. I'm not complaining, by the way. One lap races are usually better than multiple lap races, especially when playing a game like this. Very exciting times, very exciting times. So that's another win. <laughs> another uh, $550 there. Yeah, maybe I can actually afford an upgrade. But wait, 
what's this? You see the dollar sign on this race? That means that you have to pay to get in it. And it also jumps you up to the next stage. So this small and twisty track features high curbs that hamper tight cornering, whilst the very short straight limits easy overtaking maneuvers. Man, someone had a lot of fun writing that description. I'm sure. I, I know it. I know it for a fact. I know, I know the guys that made this game, you know. There. <laughs> so, um, when you, when you do the, uh, race that you have to buy your way into, you're actually driving a different car. Now, since the, uh, look back, uh, shot is only from the rear bumper cam, you can't actually see, but this is a different car. This is, I believe, the Ford Fiesta. And this game was released in 2000, so you can about imagine the boxiness of these vehicles. And that really isn't helped by the fact that you can count the amount of polygons on the screen. You know what, all things considered, this game has okay graphics for PS1. Because, while everything is just a pixelated mess, you still can make out things a lot better in this game. Like, it doesn't look fuzzy like a lot of the other PS1 games look back in this era. Like, you can actually see, like... Like, I could read Ford Racing on that sign that we just passed, you know? I could. I could, if just. If just. But yeah, I am qualifying this just to uh, see if the competition has stepped up in any capacity. But yeah, we're just taking a perfect apex through these corners. Through these tight and twisty corners. Ooh. Exciting. Exciting times. What a world, man. What a world. But yes, this is Ford Racing. Ford Racing. <laughs> I don't know who else has played this game on the internet. I swear someone else has played Ford Racing games besides me on the internet. As depressing as it may seem that other people had to subject themselves to this game. <laughs> I don't know if you actually quit this early, you can skip everyone else crossing the line. Because just for some reason, when you cross the finish line, it just goes into the automatic driving for like 15 seconds. And you know, it's just... But as you can see, we're still racing in Sumner. Despite the fact that we are in the next series up. Yeah. But at least this time we indeed are starting second rather than last. But it's still a one lap race, so it probably would have been a benefit to just, you know, not qualify. <laughs> but yeah, forward racing. I, don't, I really don't know what I'm going to talk about during this series. Uh, I feel like this is going to be just... Like, look at this, look at that, man. That cinematic shot right there. Cinematic shot of second place. There's really no benefit to doing the dollar sign races unless you want to get extra money for the series that you're running in. Oh my god, I'm going to lose this race. <laughs> I'm actually about to lose a race in Ford Racing. Hang on. Hang on, let me nail these final corners. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. See? We weren't expecting that one, were you, D. Sumner? Yeah, get that. Get some of this, D. Sumner. Get some of this, D. But what you're going to find out is that when you actually complete a season, even if you don't move on to the next series, you start the next season with no money. You're basically stuck at zero every time you restart the series or start a new series. It's just money is virtually meaningless in this game when you're not using it for your things here. So as you can see, there's only one race left and I got $900, so I may as well spend it on pointless upgrades. So we'll do some soft tires. Must be replaced after every race. Well, there's only one race left, so why not? Qualifying tires, never buy that. That's the most useless upgrade in the entire game. Um, racing suspension, sure, why not? Tuned engine. Yeah, let's do it. Tuned engine. Boom. There we go. Can I get the next stage up? No, I can't. I just basically spent all the money that you can possibly have at this point in the game. But yeah. Anyway, so now we're going to have a super upgraded car. So just in case you thought that I wasn't doing good enough, 
Just in case you thought I wasn't whipping the field's ass enough, I now have the best car that you can possibly have. So let's save the game just in case I forget to do that and we'd have to... No, I don't want to start... Oh my god, I don't want to leave career. Dumb piece of shit, but anyway. Two laps. Two laps this time around. My goodness gracious. Man, you're really testing the limits of man versus machine. As now instead of having to complete one lap, we've got to complete two laps. We may as well qualify if we're going to have an endurance race like this. I'm just doing qualifying to see if I can actually get a pole. So now we're not going to have the, the soft tires during qualifying, but we still have the engine upgrade and the suspension upgrade. I don't really know if it's going to make that much of a difference. Probably not, but if anyone out there is actually paying attention to this playthrough... <laughs> You can maybe take a look back earlier in the uh, in the, in the episode and see if I'm running a better lap time than I was last time around. But it definitely the car definitely feels faster. Let's see if I can take this corner at full speed. Come on, no, no. I I gave it my best shot, man. I had to, I had to try. I had to find out for sure. I had to know. I had to know. Can you take that like acute angle corner? at full speed in a fully upgraded Ford car. And it turns out the answer, I, I believe, is no, unfortunately. I might have not taken the perfect apex through that corner, but I think we can certainly determine that you cannot take that corner at full speed. But despite it all, I'm still going to be on the pole the first lap. But... Yeah. Good stuff. Very good stuff, in fact. This is a very exciting game, full of high-octane Thrills and chills and stuff, yeah, yeah. This game, man, this game is absolutely nuts. I'm eight, eight and a half seconds above my previous lap time, look at this. See, I'm finally mastering this Ford Kong. I'm driving this thing at the very edge of control. But we're almost done with the Ford Kong series. You know, I could probably finish this game in one session, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I could probably finish this game in one session. I don't even have to work tonight. I could record for the next 24 hours if I wanted to. Yeah, I just ran a 10 second faster lap there. That's, uh, that's great. Uh, that's, that's fantastic. That's just awesome. Oh, man. Wowzers. Okay, well. <laughs> that's a pole award right there. What is C. Freeman doing 21 seconds back? Dude, you just have to press it to the floor and turn. This may as well be a plate race. There's one corner where you have to get out of the gas. What are you doing 21 seconds back, Morgan Shepard? What are you doing? But yeah, so now we have to do two whole laps. Oh my goodness. However will we survive this super long race, as I've already driven off from the rest of the field. Yeah, as you can see, qualifying is utterly pointless unless you want the extra money from the pole award, and that's only if you get the pole too, so it's really risk versus reward on that one. The, well, I guess it really isn't risk versus reward, considering the only risk is wasting like a minute and a half of your time because you have to do two laps and qualify. <laughs> But yeah, I guess really the only time that qualifying would actually matter is in a race where it's only one lap long. But the problem with that is that the races that are one lap long are early in the game when you're going to destroy the field no matter what you do. Like, I did not need to put a single solitary upgrade into this car to win this championship. I didn't need to do anything to win this championship. I probably could have won this shit blindfolded. This is the most simple game. The simple stuff here. The, the, the really what's sad about this is that when I was younger, I couldn't win this win this game to a hundred percent, despite its incredible lack of difficulty. You know. Like, even as a six-year-old child, honestly, there's no excuse that I shouldn't have just killed everyone in this game. 
And I will admit, some of the races are a little difficult when you get into the game because some of the tracks are really weird and you have to kind of understand how the actual game's physics engine works to really do the, do the best that you can. But even then, you know, I just finished this race. It's, just, it's over. I just won this championship. That's, that's how that goes. Yeah. Neat. Very nice. Very, very nice. And that's the Ford Ka series done, yeah! <laughs> Look at all this money I won't get to use, hooray! 73 points, dude, good lord! So, uh, yeah. It's a free promotion, thank you very much, thank you, thank you very much. I will indeed be moving on to the next season. And we're gonna start the Ford Fiesta season. Oh wait, I actually do have the money, hang on a second. I wasn't expecting to see all that money, but hey. Could have sworn you lose your money, but maybe that's later on in the game. Maybe it's a bit more forgiving at the start. What the fuck is happening right now? Hello? Come on, Vito. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Maybe. All right, here we go. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, no, go over there. No. Oh, God. No kidding, Rick Allen. I couldn't have said it better myself, honestly.